Hello, everyone. This is Jim Martens, and today is Wednesday. It's May 4th. It's coming up on 1.30 p.m. here, and that means we're about 30 minutes in front of the FOMC decision on rates. The consensus is it'll be between a quarter and a half a point. Um, be that what it may, we're looking at price patterns. When I look at this 60-minute chart of 30s, what I see is a downtrend and what I see specifically on the lower right-hand corner is the latest recovery is in three waves to 140.24. Elliott tells me that three wave movements are corrective. So therefore, the dominant trend is to the downside. Now, does the mark have to go down in a straight line? Obviously not. Because I could say from 140.24 to this point, to the low of on the day, that that decline is in three waves and nearly a double bottom. So I'm thinking of corrective patterns, because remember, the larger trend is to the downside, so therefore recovery should unfold in a corrective manner. So I'm thinking of the, of the potential corrective patterns from an Elliott Wave perspective that start with a three wave movement followed by a three wave movement in this case a double uh, nearly a double bottom two come to mind a flat or a triangle well if we're counting a second wave we can eliminate the triangle that leaves us with a flat so with that in mind two scenarios could play out here either the decline is simply going to continue and wave three of three continues moving to the downside or if 140.05 is breached, then that alternate AB count comes into play and we'll be counting a flat. The initial three wave rise to 140.24 is wave A, the three wave decline to double bottom is B, and wave C could continue once it exceeds 140.05, it could continue above 140.24, but again, to complete a correction. So if we see some volatility around the time of the news and of the press conference that should follow, you know, keep in mind the dominant trend and everything we're seeing points to continued weakness, even if there is a reaction and some buying enters the market. If 140.05 is exceeded, allow for follow through to above 140.24, but that should complete a corrective movement. So that gives us a little bit of a, a direction of how the market might react, and if it does, what the ultimate outcome will be. Now, if I go down to, if I if I go to tens, I, I don't see that same pattern necessarily. All I can say here is. You know, we had that rally to 118.30. It could be impulsive if it is, given the depth of the recent of the sell-off subsequent. Um, that was probably wave C of a flat, and the market's probably already headed lower. We use that 118.30 uh, high as resistance. We could see the market above the latest recovery high, which is what just above 118.16. So let's call it 118.18 or so. Um, but 118.30 should cap. The move. So that's what we're looking at about 30 minutes before heading into the announcement itself.